All right, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline along with some audio I'd like to fade out. Now, let's begin by going over to the effects panel. Then in here, open up the audio transition folder and open up the crossfade folder as well where you'll find these three audio fades. The first one is constant gain, which will fade your audio in a linear constant rate over time. To add it to your audio, drag it to the very end of your audio clip until it's highlighted and then release it. This sounds okay, but I should mention that the constant gain isn't super popular because it can make the ending sound abrupt. Back in the effects panel, the next fade down, constant power, will give your audio a smoother fade. It works by decreasing the audio slowly at first and then faster at the end. Okay, the final fade is exponential fade, which as the name implies, fades on a much sharper curve. All of these fades have their use, it's really up to you to decide which sounds best for your audio. Now to change the duration of the fade, hover over the end of the transition until you see this bracket and drag it to adjust the fade's duration. And there my fade lasts quite a bit longer. If you're having issues seeing that duration bracket, you're probably not zoomed into your timeline enough. Just use the circular handles on this bar at the bottom of the timeline to zoom in, and then you should be able to see that bracket and adjust the duration with it. The last point I'll make for the duration is that you can double click the audio transition to enter in the duration you'd like it to last for manually. While I'm focusing on fading out for this video, keep in mind that fading in works exactly the same way. The only difference is that you drag one of these same transitions to the very start of your audio instead of the end. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.